Welcome back to Godhood. In the last episode we uh, managed to uh, entice a few uh, other uh, villages and we have uh, 202 tentaclets in our little nice village. Now God Rotus is ready to perform a miracle and uh, as a weaver uh, he can use uh, charisma. I don't know... well, this one does use Charisma, so let's uh, send him to the uh, Miracle Myth. Grants bonus Charisma. Therian Dracus prays to you. The feisty Kraken, please, I want to be part of the sacrament. Give me the sign. Therian Dracus must take part in a sacrament to feel like their prayer has been answered. The feisty Kraken commands, I'll consider it. Of course, he will have to take part in the sacrament since Quadrotus is going to be busy telling this story. Um, we have 177 materials. I'm wondering if we should build something. I guess we could uh, upgrade the storytelling circle with uh, smoke symbols. This one, something will definitely, we definitely will need at some point. What is the farmland? Now, let's upgrade the uh, storytelling circle with smoke symbols. We can also build some gardens because we do need a place for people to heal eventually. Let's build them there. And Therion Dracus is neutral in his mood. Can you do something? So we could send you to the uh, farmlands to get some more light. And we have one turn left until the sacrament. Ah, it's actually shards of might that you're getting. So if we send Miss Matrix to do the storytelling circle, she will get two, two more shards and then end up with 13 charisma. Yep, that's how it works. Time for the sacrament, though. So, Miss Matrix has a specific benefit against these zealots, whereas uh, Therion Dracus is at a disadvantage. So let's put Miss Matrix there, and Therion Dracus at the bottom, and Wally, you can be there because these two doesn't really affect one another. Let's see how this turns out. First to fifty. Mm. Whoa. Okay. By the feisty Kraken, the chief wills it. wasn't too bad. They have been enticed. Oh, Miss Matrix is uh, ready to do a new miracle. Let's get that uh, development spark. So this is Red Disciples. I think we should be able to do this without Miss Matrix, although they are level 10. How about these guys? No, that, that doesn't look ideal. Let's do the uh, repeatable mission for now. By sending Therian Dracus to the sacrament, you have answered uh, his prayer. 
He is filled with pride and newfound faith. And, of course, uh, tingling tentacles. The feisty kraken commands, Well done, Therion Dracus. Quadrotus told an amazing story of the feisty kraken's exploits to some tentaclets. The story was so well told that it came alive in the very stars above the holy site. A spellbound crowd looked up as the feisty kraken waved his tentacles and did many great things in times long past. Quadrotus, enraptured by all the tentacles while telling the tale, kept their eyes closed. The feisty kraken commands, stories are the wellspring of faith. He has gained the nightmare ability. The feisty kraken sent demons to terrorize the heretic in his sleep. Sorcery, convert the non-believer with the powerful magic of or miracles. So, I guess Quadrotus will be running around after Wally, giving you nightmares. Okay. Blessed be Quadrotus. So we have a new... Uh, we now have the uh, Pursue Endless Pleasure, excluding the recovery intervals, and we can select a new one. We can unlock the Bordello, but... Um, I think this one. Let's surrender to the primal urges that the face to Kraken gave us. We get more uh, damage from nature abilities um, if the new initiates have the primal desires buff. Now we need three development spark to get that. Or Right, okay, so we need four development spark to get the, uh, <clears throat> the the Temple of Pleasure, Temple of Lust. Okay, uh, Miss Matrix, uh, you can go do a miracle. You can do the miracle myth. And Therion Dracos, you can go do the farmlands so that you can get more might. Perfect. Now for our final act. What wrote us? You can go do the... Uh... Storytelling circle. So that you get 12 charisma. There we go. And now it's time to run off to the next uh, sacrament. Um, we can just put these people in these locations and start the mission. A simple song. Some bravery. And doom. Condemning the Wally. Well, Wally held a performance in response. So we enticed them. What do we get for this? Ah, ritual offerings. And of course, we got materials and uh, tentaclets. Um, I don't know what the difference between choosing minor and major is. Do we get more skulls if we do this? Not really. So there isn't really a reason uh, that I can think of to do that. Let's go to the graves of the ancestors next. Wally probably shouldn't come on that mission, unless he could- oh, he could go on the top spot. Quadrotus prays to you. Oh, wise the feisty kraken, 
When the sacrament comes, please allow me to rest. Quadrotus must not take part in the next sacrament to feel like their prayer has been answered. The feisty kraken commands. Perhaps. Miss Matrix told an amazing story of the feisty kraken's tentacles to some tentacles. The story was so well told that the tentacles came alive in the very stars above the holy site. A tentacle-bound crowd looked up as the feisty kraken did many great things with his tentacles in times long past and also in the current. Miss Matrix, enraptured in telling the tale, kept their eyes closed. The feisty kraken commands, stories are the wellspring of faith. We get a luring body. Hmm. This one uh, uses cunning, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem for Miss Matrix. She's quite the cunning uh, disciple. I can teach her a passive. Cunning or charisma. Oh, let's, let's give her uh, more cunning. Blessed be Miss Matrix. Now we can recruit new dice and new disciples. So we have Topil. Follows the cat. Major talent for cunning. Not so good for devotion. We have Chipak. Strong minded. Follows the finch. Annie. Okay. Good in charisma, knowledge, and devotion. And then we have Adarian from the Hedonists. Who follows the parakeet with a major talent for charisma and uh, also has primal desires. I love that little icon. <laughs> and Adarian is likely to learn fear, an ability, okay. Well, let's uh, recruit Adarian. Then we have some customization to do here. Darian. I think it would be very fitting to uh, make this uh, Kelsey. Mm, so far it looks good. No facial hair, please. Feathers. Mm, that sounds good. Hair color? I have no idea. That looks a little bit too like the feathers. Oh, that looks good. I think that was the one that was already picked though, but... So, Disciple Kelsey. Seven charisma and seven devotion. Five in the rest. So what are we supposed to do now? I think we'll have Miss Matrix dream. A little dream about falling in love. And then we'll have Wooly do the same. And I think Therion Dracus mostly does physical damage. That's morale damage. All of these are physical damage. But Therian Dracus can dream a little dream about giantism. Okay. That is an interesting um, dream. And then the sacrament is prepared. Let's put Miss Matrix here. I'm not sure. This might not be a good idea. Well, let's do it like that. I have faith in your alluring body, Miss Matrix. Uh, Wally has the idea. Just flirt, yes. Brawl, no. Simple song, yes, good. Oh, right, okay. That was unexpected.
So we can get tentacles or we can get an uncommon relic. Well, I will definitely go for the uncommon relic. Not that often that I get those. This matrix. Can you bless the relic? Yes. Miss Matrix's flower crown gives plus 25% knowledge. Over generations, the tentaclets have collected crystal skulls. Not even you know exactly how they came to be, but all mortals agree the crystal skulls are the link between this world and the gods. They are very rare to get. A crystal skull, in plural apparently, must be sacrificed each mission. If your religion loses a sacrament while out of crystal skulls, you lose the game as the cult of tentacles crumbles. Unless you play in serenity mode, which of course we are doing. The feisty kraken commands, the cult of tentacles will not run out of crystal skulls. The more crystal skulls you have, the more options you'll have to pick from when you complete a mission. Bronze, one minor choice. Silver, one minor and one major choice. Gold, one minor and two major choices. So apparently we are still in gold. By converting an entire island, your remaining crystal skulls is converted into tentaclets. Afterwards, you restock your crystal skulls to the maximum amount. The feisty kraken commands, more crystal skulls means more rewards. And tentacles, never forget more tentacles. So I guess we want to do that while we're still in the golden area of this, so that we get the... Uh reward but we can do one more repeatable mission so that we can get kelsey to do something uh useful. by allowing quadrotus to rest from the sacrament you have answered his prayer he is filled with energy and newfound faith the feisty kraken commands quadrotus is ready to prove my glory again so i don't know what kelsey with charisma and devotion. I have no idea what will be an appropriate uh, class for Kelsey yet. Uh, we'll see. Miss Matrix, did you get the relic? No. That's. Oh. I'm not sure that you need the knowledge. Does anyone need the knowledge? Yes, Quadrotus, you need the knowledge. Here, have Miss Matrix's flower crown, Quadrotus. You look stunning with it. Right, so we have plenty of materials to go around. Um, can build a material gatherer. Or we can uh, upgrade the uh, storytelling circle with uh, Sing Together. I think a material gatherer would be a good idea. Means we get uh, passive materials 20 each turn, which is a good thing. Now we have 77 materials left. So there's not much we can do with that. We could take these dreams. But I don't think I want that. So, Kel I think Wally should go do some. Oh, I can actually send them to gather materials. Interesting. Well, uh, I want Wally to do the storytelling circle ritual so that charisma levels up. There we go. Protein Charisma. And I don't know how that works. Let's test that. Miss Matrix, would you be a deer and go collect some uh, resources, please? Maybe that locks you. But that's fine. Um, what wrote us? Are you allowed to go over the materials as well? No, only one disciple can do this ritual at a time. 
Um, then you can go dream a little dream about falling in. There we go. Now we will send Kelsey together with Wally and Quadrotus on this specific mission. Rotus has seen your visions. Doom! Did they eat? The feeble are doomed! Yeah, you're right to be nervous. So we have enticed these guys. Wooly is now ready to perform a new miracle. Excellent. Of course, we'll take the major offering here. Now we're on the final skull, so I suppose we will uh, choose this one, the Elders, as our next mission. And Miss Matrix gathered 39 materials. But I'm not sure if... I don't think we want Wally to go do a miracle right now. We, I think we want Miss Matrix, Wally and Quadrotus in the... Uh, Yeah, bounce, bounce. Uh, here. Yeah. Nothing particularly worrying about alignment here. Choose religion development. Well, clearly we are going to grow into God of Pleasure. Yes. Yes. Oh, the feisty Kraken. Yes. The Temple of Lust provides a powerful new miracle which raises both charisma and cunning. Yes, we want to develop that. Oh, that image. We build that. Wing stall. Temple of Pleasure. Yes, we can build it. So, have it here. We have Ecstatic Performance or Ecstatic Performance Alt. And uh, <clears throat> here we have uh, Anointed Lubricants. Of course, Wally has already declared that as long as you call it Lubricants, um, it is less naughty than if it's called uh, the shortened version of the word. So this means it's not naughty. And then we have Exciting Herbs. On the Ecstatic Performance Alternate Path, we have a, a, a Phallus symbol. And also revealing garment. I think we'll go with this side, but uh, 500 is quite a bit of uh, material, so we don't have that currently. Let's see, prayer site, hunter's lodge. I think we need a hunter's lodge. Pledging altar is nice, but uh, I guess we can take the educa educate the younglings though. So let's educate the young tentacles. We go. Now, preparing for that mission, we want God Rotas, Wally, and Matrix on the mission. So let's all make them dream a little dream about falling in love. Now, Wooly, we need to dream that dream. Finally, Quadrotus, time for you to dream the dream as well. Couldn't be better, could it? Genesis. Okay, so we cannot place Miss Matrix there, so we'll place her there. Wooly, you can be there. And Quadrotus... Place you there. Lots of people here. Hey, beautiful. Ah, very good. The feeble are doomed. No defiance, that is a good thing. Ah, 
perfect. That was a lot easier than I expected. But of course, the power of lust should never be underestimated. Elders defeated. The sacrament has proved your might over the elders' ancestors. The elders' followers have been converted. Your disciples pray for your judgment on these heathen elders. The feisty kraken commands, Get hot and wild, my disciples! <laughs> your disciples came together to enjoy each other in the old city to honor you. Everyone shouted the feisty kraken's name in joy. Even the elders had fun. Lust will bring holy pleasures to this world. The feisty kraken commands, Bless those who share their bountiful bodies. Crystal skulls increased by two and convert the world of yours. A newly converted elder make a startling confession. O oh, greatest the feisty kraken, we know of many of the islands of unbelievers. There many more wicked deities are revered in more blasphemous ways than one can count. The feisty kraken commands, to them we shall bring the cult of tentacles as well. With this holy decree your disciples prepare great boats to travel to newfound shores and spread the cult of tentacles. Each of your disciples have different opinions on where they must travel first. The feisty kraken commands, I show the way. Of course we'll take that one. And we get lots and lots and lots and lots of tentacles. So we're now ranked number seven with 1267 tentacles following the uh, true path. Set sail! So we can either go to uh, Mitklan, a death island. Um, Wally wants to go there because of rumors concerning cannibals. Really, Wally? The tribes on this island are committed to madness. You'll find lots of opponents focusing on the dark elements. That's not ideal, I believe. Or we can go to Tenochtitlan, a capital island. Miss Matrix heard stories about an order of paladins sacrificing humans to empower the sun god. The tribes on this island are committed to war. We'll find opponents focusing on the ancestral and the divine elements respectively, so we'll go to Tenochtitlan. Here we are. Um, we have two. The Gate of the Sun. And the Training Camp. The repeatable missions are Betrayer of, Betrayer of the Cult. And Foreign Preachers. I think we'll do the training camp. Sun Servant is he enough to defeat? This is a special ability, Totem Slam, yeah. Set his destiny mission. What is right? Choose a tenant. We can choose animism. Commune with the natural spirits around you. Animals are your best friend. Or we can choose funeral rites. What does the afterlife look like? Do you grieve over the dead? Or we can choose human sacrifice. A real god always demands blood and sacrifice. Well, we are not corn, so I think we'll fight. We'll be we'll be fine. Uh, let's go with animism. on that note, I think that this might be a good spot to uh, end the episode. Apparently we have a new building here. But, uh, oh, the Holy Site Center. No, it's the traditions. We can upgrade our god action. That's probably a good idea. 
do that and then I think we'll end the episode. So thank you all so very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this episode as uh, uh, well as that the fact that you're hopefully enjoying the game. I like the new changes, I should add. So uh, let's see how our trusted disciples will fare against Tenochtitlan's warlike, human-sacrificing heretics. But that will be the next time. See you all then.